For trading futures in Bookmap, there's an excellent feature that allows you to trade from the chart of a large contract such as the S&P E Mini, but have the actual trades routed to the S&P Micro E Mini instrument. This is advantageous for several reasons. You can get more insight and make quick trade decisions from the larger contract. It has more liquidity and market action compared to the thinly traded micro contracts. Thus, you can also take less risk with a smaller account. Typically, the micro e-mini contract is one-tenth the size of the e-mini contract. Thus, you can easily scale your trade size and allow for longer-term multi-day trades. You can also test strategies within the live market with reduced risk. Let's go through the process. First, you'll need to open both contracts. Here, I've opened the larger e-mini S&P contract here on the left and the micro e-mini S&P contract here on the right side. For a list of all available cross pairs, go to File, List of Cross Instruments Trading Pairs, and you'll find all the various larger size contracts and micro contracts pairings for all the bookmap supported data providers. In this example, I'm connected with Rhythmic and I can see all of the available instruments here. Next, select the larger e-mini contract instrument and open the trade control panel by clicking on the padlock icon here. In this example, I'll select trade from the bookmap chart. Most likely, the cross instruments control panel is not displayed. So right click in a blank area and select add panel, cross instruments trading panel you'll see the panel populate. Select from the panel the proper cross-paired target instrument. In this case, it's the Micro E-Mini S&P. Now before you press start, let's cover the rounding feature. Sometimes the micro contract may not have the same amount of price levels compared to the regular E-Mini contract. This is the case with the 6E together with the Micro 6E there are less price levels in the Micro 6E contract. Therefore, we need to use the rounding feature so traders can define whether to round the price to or towards current price or away from current price. We're trading the Micro E Mini S&P and the same price levels are displayed across both instruments, so we don't need to worry about this feature in this example. Now, let's select the contract size of one and set some limit orders on the E-mini chart. Let's press start. Note the message window that pops up notifying that you are trading on the micro instrument from the E-mini chart. Click OK. I'll set some limit orders. Note how the micro E-mini orders appear on the micro chart. You can also move edit and delete the orders from the e-mini chart and witness the micro chart reflecting the updates. Once filled, you also note the proper PL displayed in the PL section.